Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com, training videos on Chief Architect. I had an email come in and said, how do I make bathroom stalls like this uh, using the Chief Architect walls? So doing something difficult tends to be difficult. So what we're going to do is try to do something difficult. All right, let's get it started, shall we? <laughs> okay, here we go. What I'd like to do first is just draw the bathroom size. Now, I don't know what that size is going to be, but it's going to be big enough to easily house my stall. And so let's get started on that. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I notice that basically there's three walls to each one of these stalls, and they even share the common wall. So I'm not going to worry about that, but I'm going to make all three of these walls. So let's just do that first. I'm going to drag out, drag over, drag in. And then I'm going to select the three walls. I'm going to open them up, go to my wall types tab, and I want to make a specific wall type. So I'm going to click in here and notice that with X2 they have this glass shower wall. Looks kind of cool. So I'm going to go into the define and I'll notice that it's half inch thick. I'm going to make it a little thicker. So I'm going to insert a couple of different um, wall layers. I'm going to click on two and let's see, let's make this a half inch and we'll make each one of the sides a quarter inch. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, now each layer, I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to shrink it to two so I can easily see it. Go here, shrink it to two, go here, turn on layer, shrink it to two and get this last layer here shrink it to two okay I don't need the glass there so I'm gonna choose that the fill is nothing on that particular one here we're gonna fill it with something let's fill it with mm, yeah that looks good angle cross hatch and uh, here let's just get ourselves some texture and why don't we use black top yeah, we'll use that. So black top on the outside, and sure enough, black top on the inside. Click OK. This is the shower wall that's now going to be referred to as the star wall. OK. Click OK, and I've made my wall. Click OK again, and there's my walls. Now, I don't know what standard for ADA uh, toilets are. I'm going to stick one in. Um, and let's say, I don't know, 48 inches. That sounds good. And then I wanted this to have enough room with the door as well. So I'm just going to eyeball this at maybe 5 feet 6 inches. Let's just see. That seems about right. Then I'll go ahead and click on the door and place in a door. Now I notice my door is kind of thick compared to my walls, right? So what I'd like to do is double click the door go to the thickness of the door and just decrease it to three quarters of an inch. Yeah, that sounds good. Now also notice I got molding and trim around it, but let's go into the 3D and kind of see what we've got so far. And remember that um, the stall picture is what we want to accomplish. And uh, hmm, that means that it gets pulled off the ground this trim molding goes away and this gets pulled off the ceiling except for the little ends okay so let's go back here and just confirm yeah that's exactly what's happening here okay so we're gonna duplicate this look with these walls and this is how I do it I'd use the cross-section tool which is your cross-section elevation and we'll start with the front door and I'm just gonna drag it through the front door I'm going to click on the door first and let's correct that. Let's go to uh, casing, suppress casing and suppress sill. Click OK. Then I'm going to try to just eyeball the center of this thing. That's close enough. I don't have to be super accurate because I'm not going to give it to anybody important. All right, and then I'm going to click the door and select the door. So that means if I select this wall, and I'm not sure if it got that wall, I'm going to hit the tab on the keyboard, or you can hit next to actually select that wall. And I'm going to drag it down to about the door's height and let go. I'm also going to drag it up because I want it up off the floor, just like the picture. Okay, so everything's about six feet, which works good. 
I'm going to go in there, bada boom, bada bing, everything looks good. And I'm going to close that up and I'm going to do the same to the side walls. Click it one time, hit tab, make sure I'm selecting, drag down, try to find where I left it. I think it was on top of the door. Looks like I have a marker right about there. Looks good. Okay. In fact, I might be able to get that side as well. Yep, there, sure enough. So I'm going to just select that other side of the wall and grab it from this angle. Pull it up. Make it good. Okay. Now, the computer still thinks that this is a room. See how it will select just the room? Well, we don't want that. So I'm going to select these walls, and I'm going to open them all up. And I'm going to tell the computer that there's no room definition on these walls. Because when you select this room, it should select right through the walls. It'll also get rid of all that annoying toe kick that was around the walls. Okay, now my door floated up, so I'm just going to drag it back down. Chief will do that from time to time. Uh, let's grab the color, apply it. And then let's uh, do our last elevation, which we're going to run through the front again. Whoops, that's not the elevation tool now, is it? Kind of difficult. Okay, here we go. Let's run through the front door again. Select that first wall. Make sure that wall's selected. I'm going to use my cut tool. I'm going to cut it right there. I'm just going to drag it up. Then I'm going to cut it again right there and drag it up. Okay, looks pretty good. Then I'm going to go to my toolbars here, my trim molds. I'm going to go to the 3D molding line and I'm just going to put a mold line up here like this. Running a little long uh, and I'm going to say four inches by half inch. Click OK. That's fine that it ran a little long. In fact, I could even maybe drag it down a bit. Whatever. Okay, so there's a little piece of molding around there and what I'm going to do there is I'm going to select it I'm going to cut the ends off and I'm just going to wrap this bad boy around my top wall piece. Now the reason I'm doing that is just for the looks because I've noticed that um, your cut tool, cut about there, wrap it over. There we go. And then I'm going to copy it and of course apply it to the other side. And we'll see how my imagination for which side was even to the other side. It was off a little. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, I'm trying to select this and get it right where I want it. I'll pull a little over on the front because I really want to see it on the front. Okay, hit the space bar to get me out of that selective mode and back to... There's my um, stall wall. And it's pretty accurate. Again, you can select it. You can get measurements off it from the elevation view. And um, you can now use it easily as the actual stall. And let's go ahead and lower our camera down to like 25 inches off the ground. And stand back, say here. And maybe click on the door and choose it to be open. And there we go. There's our stall wall door, and it should look a lot like the picture we have, which is here. And that it does, minus the color, I think we got it. So that's how I would use Chief Architect walls to create the stall doors, stall walls, and everything else. All right, I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this lesson. And I look forward to doing many, many more.